It makes me very proud to be the first female um, at Reading Football Club in the, in the boys' environment. Um, I guess I've been on a 15-year on a journey um, and I've always believed that it, it would happen one day and women will be, be coaching in the boys' game one day. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pleased that, that I, can, I can be the face um, here to, to inspire the, the future generations, I guess. As a uh, young girl, um, growing up, um, playing football down the park. Um, I obviously aspired to, to be a footballer and, and play football um, to the highest of, uh, that I could. Um, but I guess as I got older, um, I didn't see uh, women on the telly. Um, so I, I guess as I grew older, coaching was seemed to be more achievable for me as a female. Um, so I, I took that route. Um, and uh, especially after getting an injury, it was kind of, do I give up the football um, to concentrate on, on the coaching side? There has been challenges along the way, um, but I believe the um, times are changing and the, the environment's changing for uh, more females to uh, be part of the game, especially uh, in, in the boys' game, um, in the men's environment. I think there's a, a lot of um, great initiatives and things that are going on now, which will help um, increase uh, the involvement of, of more women into the game. Um, a huge um, factor is obviously creating a, just a, a, a better environment for more uh, females to come into, um, which uh, they may not have necessarily had in the past. I hope to inspire the next generation um, of, of females in the game. Um, I know as a, a child growing up, um, there wasn't many um, females um, that I could look up to on the telly um, and I hope as a, as a coach um, I can do that in the, in the coaching world as well as um, how successful the women's game is today.